Hey everyone, it's Kat, and today I am coming to you with some DIYs, some dorm decor ideas and different things you can do to spice up your room. I have planned out the aesthetic for the year <laughs> for my dorm room, um, and it's kind of like earthy tones, browns, greens, and also throwing in black and white, because I love black, which is a shade, not a color. So is white. Anyway, so I found some things on Pinterest that I thought would make really cool decorations and I'm gonna show you how to make some of them and also give you some um, ideas of what you can do to personalize your room and by showing you what I have done to do just that. So let's head over to the station. <laughs> Okay, so first I found these really cool um, wooden like paintings on um, Pinterest. I'll like add in a picture to this, and it's really cool. It has there are like little like cutouts of wood in the shape of circles, um, and then they are painted on like leaves and um, other floral designs, mountains, feathers, etc. So I thought. Um, because I'm lazy and don't want to go outside and gather some wood, I'm just going to make them out of paper. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do before anything else is take a cup or any type of cylinder object and trace some circles on a sheet of paper. I have this kind of cardboard paper that I decided to use. Then you're going to take some brown, white, and yellowy, pinky tones of watercolor paint and you're going to paint within the lines of the circle and make it look like wood. I took some darker like paints and some watercolors as well, so I used acrylic paint and watercolor. Now on the edge I'm making the bark, so you're going to want to choose darker colors for the outside. You're going to want to paint it around the circle and you're also going to want to not make it smooth but add some rougher edges around so that the bark looks 3D and more realistic. Now you wait for it to dry. So there are a couple things you can do while you're waiting for your paint to dry. You can have a dance party by yourself alone in your room. You can look at more Pinterest DIYs on your phone. Or you can sing your heart out. Next, I just cut out the wood decals with scissors. And they're gonna look something like this. Then I'm taking a medium brown colored pencil a white blendable pastel pencil and this textile marker in black. So the design that I'm going for here is this feather one and so I'm just gonna draw out first with the marker. I decided to go with the more feathery felt side tip so that it looked more like brush strokes and feathery. Then I'm going in with the darker brown color to add more dimension and depth and shading. And lastly, I'm using the white to do highlights. This is what your piece should look like near the end. I'm then taking a needle and stabbing a hole through the cardboard paper and using a pencil to make it a bit bigger. This is so that we have a hole to put some string through so that we can hang our decals. I'm using this cord thread material and you can take any type of string or other materials you want to use to hang your pieces. I just took this and what I'm doing is I'm tying a knot around three pieces. I'm taking them all together, looping it around and pulling all three strings through the loop. Make sure it's tight and take a piece of tape and tape it to a table or another sturdy object. Now you're just going to braid the three strings all the way down. Once you've come to the end, you're going to make another loop and weed the three strings and tighten it. Then just cut off the ends and you're done.
So the next DIY I'm going to show you is how to make some flash sheets for your room. I love tattoo flash and I love going into shops and seeing all the flash that the artists have created. These are some that I'm planning on hanging in my dorm room. Make sure to always credit the artist. I just wrote the Instagram handles or the Facebook names of the artists in the corner of the pieces that I'm planning to hang up. The first thing you want to do is go to Google or what I recommend is Instagram. You can look up Tattoo Flash in the hashtags and you can easily find some really cool flash. Or you can go to your favorite tattoo artist on Instagram and choose out some pieces that you want to trace. If you don't want to take individual designs and put them all together on one sheet, you can easily find some flash sheets online. This is a Stranger Things piece by Derek Cooper. Next, you're going to want to take a piece of paper and fit it to the size you want. I found this one Instagram page of Tom Brown Tattoo, and I found this one piece that I really, really like. He does a lot of cool flash. Next, you're going to want to screenshot the photo of the Instagram page from your phone, send it to your email, and download it onto your computer. I recommend putting the picture in Keynote, cropping the picture, and making it as big as possible. I recommend playing the slideshow, and now you have a surface that's bright enough for you to see through onto the paper and trace your design. After you're done fully tracing, this is what your piece should look like. Fully traced out, nice heavy black lines like American traditional flash. And remember to always credit the artist. These are some of the ones that I traced. I have my Stranger Things piece. I have this amazing Star Wars flash sheet that I found on Google by Ryan March. And then this Friday, the 13th flash that I just gathered some individual drawings and put them all on one sheet. Thanks for watching this video and see you guys soon. I'm not really filming right now. I just like how the light is reflecting off of me.